All right, it is 7-Eleven now, and on this week's True Crime Tuesday, the FBI needs your help locating a wanted man. Leslie Charles Dawson is an escaped convict. He was convicted to 10 years in prison for the drugging, rape, and sodomy of a child. Our friends with the Murder in the Rain podcast have more. Welcome back. In today's True Crime Tuesday, I'd like to talk about escaped convict Leslie Dawson. In January 1986, 40-year-old Leslie Charles Dawson was convicted to 10 years in prison for the drugging, rape, and sodomy of a child. This occurred on multiple occasions when the child was between the ages of 10 and 13 years old. Dawson was sent to the Oregon State Penitentiary, where after a few months he was deemed a well-behaved prisoner. So after less than a year in maximum security lockup, he was transferred to South Fork Forest Camp in Tillamook, Oregon, a minimum security facility that houses up to 204 men. South Fork allows prisoners a way to learn job and life skills to equip them for re-entry into society while contributing to the Oregon forestry and wildlife programs. This facility is still in use today, however, it is now very selective about who they place there. In October of 1986, nine months after his conviction, South Fork guards made their rounds at 4 a.m. and counted Dawson among those in their beds. However, when they checked again two hours later, he was no longer in his cabin. A search of the property ensued, but it was clear Leslie Dawson had escaped custody. With little leads, Dawson was able to evade capture for over 35 years. What we do know comes from letters sent to his parents in 1992. In the letters, he indicated that he had been changing his appearance to avoid detection. The FBI believes he likely dyes his hair and may have altered his appearance with plastic surgery. The letters also indicate that he may have been living in the Philippines, though this was never confirmed and also considered to be a possible fabrication to throw authorities off of his trail. Leslie Dawson has a scar on his abdomen, naturally grain brown hair and brown eyes. He weighed approximately 155 pounds in the mid 80s. The FBI would like to convey that if anyone encounters Dawson, do not approach. He should be considered armed and dangerous. He has a military background, is suspected of having strong outdoor survival skills, and has experience with weapons. If anyone has any information about Leslie Dawson, who should they contact? If you have any information on Leslie Dawson, you can contact your local FBI field office, or you can contact Crime Stoppers of Oregon at 503-823-4357. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back next week with a new True Crime Tuesday. And remember, you can hear new episodes streaming weekly. You can follow them on social media and listen to their investigations wherever you stream your podcasts. And tune in to AM Extra every Tuesday morning for a new local case.